Hello everyone, no chocolate butter here for another video review, this time we have the Thornton's Moments uh, chocolate selection. Yeah, so, uh, well, there's a bit of a history to these, sort of, that I can remember anyway. I, when these first came out, they were I, I thought they were terrible. I can't, um, I, I can't quite recall, I seem to remember them just being really poor chocolates. I don't know, they all just didn't look very nice. I think the selections themselves, I don't know if they've changed or whether it's just some memory I have that's for some reason terrible of them, but um, I have something that's terrible like them. I just didn't like them. There's something about them I didn't like. They're all like weird toffees and things I seem to remember. Um, they just weren't good chocolates, but these ones look very tight. I was just walking past the other day and I thought, well, these, these look very nice actually. They all look like good good chocolates. You know, they, well, we've, got, we've got a honeycomb one, a strawberry one, a caramel one, an orange one, a double chocolate one, which is white and milk chocolate, but we've also got a fudge one. And, well, I mean, the fudge ones, they should just never include these, but there's this full selection. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, the, the fudge one's possibly the weak one. I mean, I'm, but you know, I think Porter's fudge is probably going to be different slightly than the Blue Quality Street and um, Rose's fudge ones and Hero's fudge, which is very, you know, always very boring. So it's might be a bit different. The Porter's, for those you don't know, it's like a, it's a semi upmarket chocolate brand, I think. They do have like a high street shop. They've now moved into supermarkets, which they didn't used to do. Um, selling chocolates like these, so more mainstream chocolates, cheaper chocolates. But they used to just do big chocolate sets, you know, like um, you know, like a chocolate, an expensive chocolate selection called the, the Continental, Fordson's Continental. It was. And my mum used to always love these. Um, just like lots of you know, lots of decadent chocolates, you know, and stuff like that. And um, and they've gradually started selling sort of cheaper, cheaper chocolates, or just more mainstream chocolates at supermarkets now. In the past five, ten, ten years or so, maybe, um, maybe a bit slightly longer. But they used to do that. So yeah, they've become a bit more mainstream, a bit more less less upmarket than they used to be. Um, it's not quite as special as they were. But I guess the Continental, perhaps for older people maybe, is still a bit something that has a bit more, you know, a uh, bit more to it. It's a bit like when you see these uh, <laughs> on TV here. You have, they basically advertise pension plans and things, or I don't know, life insurance or something, and they offer like a free Parker pen. You know, when you are back, when you when you wear. Uh, get a plan from them or just make an inquiry or whatever and of course that's just basically just a ballpoint pen really but I think for older people Parker is a, is a name that they uh, is synonymous with quality or whatever you know and maybe it still is I don't know but um, you know so obviously Fontaine's is a bit like that I guess you know it's probably a bit more of an older generation thing um, but I mean you know if you go, if you pass the shop and everything it does look quite nice but I think I think Hotel Chocolat or whatever is a bit more of the the on-trend brand at the moment um, in the UK, at least, anyway. But you know, Fords are still nice. And I mean, let's say these do look very good. These and I wouldn't say these are marketed to older people. They do look very much. They very look similar to Cabbage Roses, actually. Um, mm. Well, the roses are probably you know thirty somethings, aren't they? Really aimed at those, probably. <laughs> Who knows? I've no idea. You let me know what you think, anyway. Um, yes. Uh, right, well, I mean. No, everyone loves chocolate, no matter what their age are, aren't they? Really? So I mean, I'm just talking about marketing, really. Who they marketed at? Um, but I have no idea, I'm just speculating. Um, okay, so what have we got in these? We've got honeycomb, a combination of smooth chocolate truffle and crispy honeycomb and hazelnut pieces. We've got fudge, <sighs> melt in the mouth creamy fudge smothered in our dreamy milk chocolates. Strawberry, a silky smooth mix of strawberries and double cream covered in milk chocolate. Caramel, seriously soft gooey caramel wrapped in a delicious milk chocolate shell. We've got orange, bursts of orange in a delightful chocolate truffle smothered in milk chocolates. And double chocolate. Two tempting layers of our meltingly smooth milk and white chocolate. So the first thing to say here is that what I'm quite um, happy about, I guess, is that the orange and the strawberry aren't just the same thing, just different flavours. So the strawberry is actually like a, so it looks like a sort of fluffy centre, almost like the fudge almost in appearance. Um, you can see that there. Um, and the orange one is actually orange crispy bits. I don't know if you can see, I think it's the middle one there, or maybe that one there at the end, I can't remember. Uh, the middle one there at the bottom. Yeah, so it's actually orange crispy bits, so that's really good. So and the caramel is obviously um, runny caramel. And the double chocolate is the equivalent of like a, just a chocolate slab, really. But it's nice that it's not just milk chocolate, it's actually milk and white. It almost looks like more white chocolate. Um, and the fudge, obviously, is the one boring one, isn't it? I mean, you know. I mean, I prefer if it's just chewy caramel, something a bit more exciting. But fudge, it's just, it's just so boring. It's a 250 gram uh, box, per 100 grams of calories, 515 calories. 20 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. Um, so basically, you're telling, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a, itself again and a half, isn't it, really? So I'll just do a caption. I'm not going to bother trying working this out because it always takes too long and no one's interested anyway. <laughs> and I always make a mess of it. It's quite straightforward. You just double it and add half again, don't you, really? So, um, 
you know, but I'm not going to do it. I, I always want to do it because, you know, yeah, but I, I shouldn't do it. Um, so, the, yeah, the description, an assortment of chocolates. Our chocolate is made of 100% cocoa butter. Milk chocolate contains cocoa size 30% minimum, milk size 20% minimum. Ingredients, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so there we go. It's not so bad. We love taking about, we love talking about chocolates almost as much as making them. Call, email, or send us a letter. And it's got the uh, email address and phone number and a normal address. And it's more at Fawntons.com. There we go. Twist wraps currently can't be recycled, it says. There we go. It looks quite nice. It's a nice box. It's got the, I think they call them, you know, I think they call it Spot UV this way. It's like a shiny, the pictures themselves. I don't know if that's what, that's true or not, but. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But it's a nice, good looking box, anyway. Okay, let's uh, give it an open. <laughs> right, so I've won back again. Yeah, it's basically a song called Perfect Moments, I think, in, uh, in the 90s. Uh, it was Martine McCutcheon, who I was. I think she was in Love Actually, or one of those films. Um, used to be in EastEnders. Yeah, I think she sang it, or someone sang it anyway, and I've just got that in my head. I've been you know, singing it, it's really annoying, so there we go. So don't, don't look it up, don't, you don't want to know what it is, you don't, you don't want to have that song in your head. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. Anyway, let's give it up, it's got open to share, I mean, I don't quite know why. Well, basically, they put moments love to share, and open to share. Clearly it's saying, don't eat all these yourself, but, um, you know, they don't know me. <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh, give it an open. Life isn't sharp as it should be. So we've got um, we've got the different ones. We've got the different ones on the back, on the side, and also when you open them up underneath as well. So we've got loads of them there. So it tells you what they are quite well, really. <laughs> no illusion. So there's six different chocolates. Some of them, I think, roses and stuff. I think one of them went really crazy not long ago. About twelve or thirteen different kinds. Um, so six is probably a good amount. I think. So let's see. There's quite a lot here. Let's see what the distribution is, shall we? Um, and they all appear to weigh the same. They all look about the same. So there's no... I can't believe there'd be an excuse as to why there should be more numbers, but I can already tell you that there's not a good distribution here. There's like four of these brown ones. So it's pretty poor. They always do this as well. I have no idea why. Some of them may be cheaper to produce than others. They may be some are heavier than others. I'm not sure. I don't look... I wouldn't imagine there'd be much difference in, in weight. Okay, but it's terrible this. This is poor to start with. So we've got we've got four of the double chocolate ones and we've got four of the caramels. So let's have a look as well. We've got two, four, six. We've got seven of the strawberries. And we've got six of the oranges. And we've got five of the honeycomb. <laughs> so it's just completely random. Um, two, four, six, and seven of the fudge. So we've got seven fudge, which is probably going to be the worst one, which is terrible. Seven fudge, we've got seven strawberries. That's not too bad, I guess. And we've got six orange. And then we've got five honeycomb. And then we've got four each of the caramel and double chocolate. So it's really poor, that really. I mean, you know, four, these ones only four. We've got seven of others. You know, why I couldn't have one less of these ones we've got seven in and have five of these or some more even you know whatever uh, even still wouldn't be quite good would it really but you know yeah well I mean yeah one or two less of others anyway it's pretty poor distribution that so because you know as I say again if your favorite's the caramel and someone else just wants to taste one you know so and then some you know someone else's favorite's the uh, I don't know strawberry or something and you don't like it then you scoop it on you really because someone else is probably going to want to have some of your you know, it's a selection, isn't it? Saying to love to share it, it's not going to share equally, is it really? You know, someone might want to try yours. Um, and just, yeah, and just, you know, you're ended up with one with a lot less than other people, so really poor that. So, yeah, really poor. Let's move them all away, in, anyway. I'll just double check that those counts were right. I think they were. Uh, yeah, seven. Yeah, so seven fudge, yeah. So seven fudge, I mean, of all the ones I have seven of, Fudge is not the one, you know what I mean? It's rubbish flavour. Okay. It's not quite nice. I don't know why the... Uh, it's a bit of a shame that this one, this one's brown, really. Um, I don't know why it's a brown one, particularly. It could have had a different, better colour than that. Green or something, I don't know. But I guess it's just to make it... Yeah, well, I don't know. There was strawberry and orange ones, obviously. Um, but the caramel one isn't purple. This one, you'd expect the caramel one to be gold, wouldn't you? Um, this one could have been, could have been purple. 
I don't know. Anyway, well, who knows. But that's the colours we've got. So they look quite nice. They're all the same size by the looks of it. Probably the same weight. And if they're not the same weight, I don't believe that the weight difference would be enough to justify having four and seven difference. You know, they're not... I can tell you, I can tell you right now that there's not that much difference in the weight. Don't weigh much as it is. Um, so there we go, yeah. So, I mean, you could probably even work it out, really. So, you know. Yeah, I don't know. We could count all the chocolates. Well, we could work it out, but I think that's going a bit too far. But they look quite nice anyway. There's a nice range of them here. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is, it's just because I'm not going to cut them all in half um, and then show you, the, I'm going to bite them and show you the inside that way, I think, because otherwise we could be here all day, really. <laughs> I've made that mistake with these selections before where I've done it, and it's just too, the videos just get too long and it's too convoluted and there's too much going on, um, and it's not, worth the, it's not worth it for you to do all that. So I think I'm just going to bite them and show you what's inside there. I think that's probably the best bit. But um, yeah, we can see roughly, I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll think I'll measure the first one I open and um, we'll do it that way, so. Okay, but yeah, look reasonably nice. <laughs> I say, look very much um, akin to the roses colours, don't these sort of bright, I mean, not quite as bright as the roses ones, but they've gone down that route, haven't they? I think they, I don't know, I, I do feel from looking at the flavours and things and just, I don't know, they do seem to be going up against roses rather than, you know, they've definitely gone down the roses route, I would say anyway. Just the, that's the feel I get from them. And then the chocolate's a bit more exciting, like roses, rather than a bit more hmm, pedestrian, like Quality Street. But I'm not a big fan of Quality Street, as I say, so <laughs> shoot me if you want, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's have a look at them. Right, I have one. Right, okay, so we're going to start with the fudge one, I think. Um, so I'll just give it an open. So I reckon they're probably all roughly, well, they won't look the same on the outside, actually, at all either. So yeah, so there we go. So this is what the fudge one looks like. So it's pretty nice. Hmm, does look good. Tie tracks at the bottom, wafer. Just have a look at the bottom anyway. Wafer tracks. <laughs> so it looks quite good. Yeah. Um, I'll say, I'll give, I think they're all going to be roughly the same size. It's roughly about, it's knobbly, so about two and a half centimetres wide. About 1.25 tall. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it a bit of a nibble. Hmm. Mm, see, that's what it looks like. It's quite nice, actually. Hmm. Normally fudge, I mean just eat, I mean, you know, you can see, you can miss, you wouldn't, you definitely know it's fudge. But, um, hmm, it's not bad, I think the fudge flavour, it's quite a vanilla-y fudge, it's actually quite similar to the Quality Street one, which is a, a nicer one than the uh, Heroes and the um, uh, Quality, uh, and the Roses fudge. You know, typically it's, it's I, I actually quite, I mean, when I'm in Quality Street, I actually quite like the fudge one. Yeah, well, it's quite refreshing, even though it's fudge. It's one I don't, for some reason I don't like, but I tend to go for it just because it's a bit more, it's just better than the other, because I'm just not that big a fan of Quality Street. So it's saying a bit, it's saying quite a lot that, that I go to the fudge one. Hmm, <laughs> this one's not bad. It's still fudge. But it's a, it's a nice fudge actually, it's the nicest one I think I've had of all the fudge, the fudges and all the um, slicings. Hmm. As I say, it's still fudge. It's not. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's um, it's very refreshing. It's very vanilla. -y. Hmm. I quite, I quite like that one. Yeah, I think that. I'm gonna give that one three and a half out of five. I think that one. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, let's uh, let's try the orange one. I'm quite looking forward to this. It's an orange crisp. I say so. This one there. Uh, this one sort of looks a bit like an orange. I guess it's got a bit of a dimply look to it. Not half an orange, maybe flat on the bottom. Probably wafer tracks. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll give it a quick measure, why not? I think they're all roughly the same. About two and a half, two point six centimetres, maybe two point seven. Height wise about one point two five again as well. Okay, let's give it a bite. Hmm. 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 Very soft. It's got like um it's very soft in the middle, it's like a truffly centre. Chocolate truffle. Lots of candy, almost similar. Not too dissimilar to maybe uh, match. Uh, is it called match? I forgot what called now. Yeah, matchsticks, matchmakers, um, matchmakers, um, candy sensor pieces, but quite, but a lot smaller, I think, thinner. Hmm, not bad. Different because it's got this sort of very, very soft sensor, very soft truffly sensor. So it makes it different than say the Quality Street one. Who's in Quality Street? As if that's the one I prefer, really. But it just has quite. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do subtly like it. I didn't realise it, but um, I think some dishwasher just decided to make some weird noises. <laughs> um, yeah, man. 
I think I think uh, it's not bad it's not bad I think I mean, what I would say is it's a bit um, I think I'm expecting a harder chocolate there I'm expecting it to be like solid chocolate with candy pieces in there and I think I probably would prefer that similar to the quality street one um, but it's not bad so I think it's different I'd say different than the others I think maybe three and a half three and a half maybe four I'm not sure if I like that soft centre though I think I prefer it if it's a bit more harder but it's um, different it's different than all the others again so that's quite interesting so um, yeah maybe three and a half maybe four out of five okay let's try the uh, strawberry one now okay so this one's for some reason strawberry ones often have these like dots on the top to possibly try and simulate a strawberry but it, that isn't what a strawberry has dimples not oh, you know and the raised bits so <laughs> like a sort of frog or something but um yeah so that's a has the uh wafer tracks at the bottom so it's about two and a half wide i think they're all about that aren't they this one's more like one and a half tall so it's a bit taller let's give it a taste this one should be a sort of like a powdery center Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Quite a refreshing strawberry taste as well. It's strawberry, yeah. Hmm. It's quite fresh as well. Hmm. It's quite a fresh taste. What's it similar to? Hmm. Not sure. It's different again. It's nicer than the. Um, definitely nicer than the Quarter Street one. It's uh, say because that's just a weird, you know, yeah, fondancy one. Not a big fan of that one. No, it's not too bad. This one's different again. Yeah, it's not quite one or the other. It's, it's very much its own chocolate, not like the uh, Quality Street or Roses or anything. Um, it's quite nice and refreshing. It's nice that it's not just a cream again. Um, mm, quite sickly to have more than one. I think might be a bit sickly at once, of course, but <clears throat> obviously not really meant to do that. <clears throat> mm. I don't mind it. I think about four out of five, I think, for that one again. Possibly a three and a half, but I'll go over four, I think. Yeah, not bad at all. Quite refreshing, as I say. A lot of these have got re quite refreshing tastes. Okay, so this one I'm trying is the uh, caramel one. It's the purple one. So this is just a straight domed one. <laughs> Look at that. Literally just a shiny dome. Okay, so let's give us a height measurement. It's about one and 1.6 high. If one is about two and a half, so it's a bit, it's a bit bigger, this one. Okay, I'm not sure. About the same width-wise, but height-wise it's quite high. I say 1.6. This might be a bit difficult to uh, buy because it's going to be running this one, so we'll see what happens. Hmm. 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 Yeah, upside down. Hmm. It's very runny. It's a very runny caramel. It wouldn't take long for it to run out of this shell, I don't think. <laughs> That's how it's doing that now, but yeah, hmm. Yeah, so, hmm, you see it's trickled over my thumb a bit as well. Maybe. I don't know if you can see that, but it has. <laughs> um, yeah, hmm. This one, hmm, this one I probably would say it's a bit weaker. I think the caramel's not the nicest. It's a very bitter caramel, it's not very sweet. Um... Mm, I mean, obviously it's still sweet because it's caramel, but it's, it has a bitter taste to it, I'd say. Um, yeah, I think this is probably a weaker one of the set, actually. And caramels are normally good ones. I think this is probably one of the weaker ones, really. It doesn't taste as a nicer caramel as I've had in other chocolate selections. You know, even the Cadbury's caramel is probably a bit nicer. That's quite buttery and just tastes a bit mainstream because it is just a Cadbury's caramel bar. But the other caramels in Quality Street... Uh, and roses, I think, are probably a bit better. It might be a bit more similar to the roses one than the Cadbury Golden Barrel one, but hmm, this one's a bit more of an average one. And a bit, you know, not that. It's okay, it's nice, it's a caramel, but it's not a great caramel. Um, I think a three out, three, three out of five, I think, for that one. Hmm, not bad though. Okay, let's try this uh, double chocolate one. So this is white and uh, milk chocolate. So on the box. That's a funny one, this one, because I mean, if you look at it, <laughs> it's a domed one again, similar to the caramel. You, it's not much uh, white chocolate you'd say there, is there? Um, let's have a measure. This one's about one point eight, so it's not quite as big as the caramel one, I think. But two and a half wide, one point eight tall. So I think no. If you look at the the box, this is going to the box. Uh, where's it going? I'll see it. <laughs> I missed it. 
Try looking at the reflection here, it's hard to see. <laughs> oh, there it is there, sorry, I couldn't tell. Yeah, uh, yeah, so you can see that on the inside it might be more white chocolate. So let's see what happens when I bite it. So let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. See my teeth marks there, but yeah, so it is. It does go a bit more, so it's probably maybe almost half and half, actually. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. Taste wise. Hmm. Mm, it's okay. I think the milk chocolate is very much a, a Belgian chocolate. So I was just reviewing um, a, a Galaxy Enchanted Eggs. Um, I was just saying now the Galaxy chocolate is a nice creamy chocolate. It tastes nice, unlike Belgian chocolates, which for me are too creamy. Well, I have all the cream in there just tastes a bit sickly, um, whereas the Galaxy ones doesn't. That's Dovey Main in Europe. Um, and for this one, it's more like a Belgian sickly creamy chocolate um hmm so i'm not a big fan of that and uh, i mean the white chocolate you can't again doesn't really taste it's hard to taste it doesn't really it didn't really strike I might i try another one of these really to taste the white chocolate yeah <coughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> made a mess of that hmm hmm white chocolate doesn't stand out that much Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Now I'm not too big a fan of that one. Um. I think the milk chocolate just tastes a bit sickly. The white chocolate didn't really stand out at all, really, from the milk chocolate that I could tell. Um, so it's probably hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. The combination doesn't work that well. I couldn't really taste the white chocolate, as I say. Hard to taste it because it, the way it's domed in as well, so you can't really just bite half the white chocolate. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I think a two and a half out of five for me that one. It's, not a great one, that one. Okay, and last but not least, honeycomb. Let's have a look. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. It's got a nice uh, look to it, sort of this weird sort of chiselled look. Like a gem, maybe, a honeycomb. <laughs> yeah, still got the uh, wafer tracks at the bottom. Um, Height-wise, roughly one and a half centimetres. Width, roughly, is a bit knobbly, but two and a half, at, you know, a bit high measured. Okay, let's give this one a go. Hmm, again, it's copied the uh, orange one and got that soft centre in. Hmm, again, I think it'd be better if it had a hard centre. But it's different again, it's got it's the same really, but rather than orange, it's just got honeycomb pieces. It's the same as the orange one. Hmm, I think for me, I prefer hmm, a hard centre in. The honeycomb's a bit burnt tasting as well. It's not the best honeycomb. Hmm. So I think for me, I would again prefer a bit of a hard chocolate one there. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, I think a three out of five, I think, for me for that one. I can't remember what I gave the orange one now, really, but yeah, the orange one was a bit better. It's not too bad. But yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I think I just think, I mean, it's good, it's novel, it's different, and it's got that soft centre. Because not many of us have done that, really. Um, it's like a sort of truffle centre, and it gives you obviously. The other ones just lay brand that as another flavour, like oh, I don't know, signature truffle or something as they've done in the in the in the roses. But mm. but I don't know, for me I just think I just think I'd rather it be that way actually. I think I'd rather have it just solid chocolate with crunchy bits in it, and I think that would just be nicer. Which I think is what they've done in the quality one, as I say, for the orange one. Um Yeah, so hmm. But as I say it is different, so maybe you know yourself might prefer that if you love the signature truffle in roses. You like the orange one, this, uh, the you know the the orange one, the orange crunch, whatever it's called in the quad street. This is a com combination of the two, so it's not bad in that respect. But for me, I prefer, I'm, I think I prefer just solid chocolate. So, yeah, and again, I think that's a detriment to the the orange one as well, really. But <clears throat> difficult one. I think now I've said uh, somebody twice. I probably would ret retrospectively mark down the orange one a bit, but um, I don't know. So I think yeah, I think this was the twenty comes three out of five, and the orange one's probably. I think I gave it a three and a half. I think anyway, but yeah. I would say I think I think that or that soft sense of chocolate doesn't do it for me. It's not it's not the best truffle I don't think. But it's not bad. So there we go. Yeah. So overall, these are not bad. They're very viable difference. Uh, difference. Different. Um, alternative to um, roses and quality street and things like this. They're very different enough as it is from them. And I think um, you know, as I say, if you like the sort of like truffle centers, you know, um, I think you would definitely be a fan here because of the um, uh, honeycomb and the. Uh, the orange ones, but 
for me, it's not a, not an advantage really. I mean, the fudges, the surprising ones are the ones that really probably you could take or leave really. So the fudge is actually not too bad at all. It's it's a, probably a highlight, and the strawberry one's pretty refreshing as well. But I think I'd be sickly after more than one of them. Um, the, but the caramel, yeah, it's disappointing. It's not a very nice caramel, and I think the chocolate one. The double chocolate one's disappointing as well. You don't really get a hit of white chocolate. And the milk chocolate isn't very nice. Um, I'm just looking off to the left to look at the flavours. So overall, I'm a bit... They're okay. You know, they're okay. I can, I, I'd probably, I would probably never buy this myself. Um, it'd probably be something that I'd always probably just nibble if someone else has them. But I think I would avoid the double chocolate one. It just actively isn't that pleasant to them. I think I'd probably give it a three out of five. You know, I don't know. But I think a two and a half is right. I think it is a two and a half. Maybe a two out of five. Um, and I think the orange one's probably a three and a half out of five. And honeycomb's a three. The caramel's probably maybe a two and a half, maybe a three now in retrospect. Uh, the fudge one and the strawberry one. The fudge one's probably a three and a half and the strawberry one's probably a four, I think. So overall, yeah, so not too bad. But overall, I think I'm probably going to give it a three out of five in this set. It's, it's not too bad, really. Um, I just think, it's, you know, the, the, the good ones are ones that I probably am not too bothered about, which is... Means they're not that great, really. After all, they're just better than normal. <laughs> um, and the ones that they should be nice are just a bit lower to me, just a bit too sickly. The ones with these soft sensors, the orange and honeycomb, which I think, and honeycomb is a bit of a burnt honeycomb taste as well, which is not a big fan of really. I prefer it just tastes a bit more, you know, normal caramelly, honeycomby taste. I'm saying the caramel itself is like a sort of yeah, a bitter caramel, burnt caramel almost as well again, really. And the chocolate one's a bit rubbish. So I think overall it's probably a three out of five. I think for me, they're just it's peaks and troughs. Unfortunately, the ones that should taste good taste not as good as they did expect, and the ones that you would not expect too much from taste a bit better, but of course they're not the ones you like anyway in my review, so hmm. Swings around about three out of five. <laughs>